can have it if you want it. It's gratis, it's for free. There ain't no strings attached, no, there ain't no catch. Take my love, take my love, take me. What's up? Bart here. And today we're gonna talk about Wacom tablet, but uh, I don't want to talk about uh, a specific model, uh, although I will uh, show you uh, my configuration on my uh, current model, uh, which is uh, low end model, because uh, I don't need at this moment anything above that to do my uh, retouch and um, graphic. Uh, de graphic designs. Um, I I'm not a graphic designer per se, so I don't need fancy stuff like uh, whole canvas uh, in full HD uh, with I don't know um, Cintiq seri series or um, even Intuos Pro large. Uh, it's uh, it's um, overkill for me. So. For uh, this tutorial, we will uh, uh, I will show you uh, my configuration on this little uh, pen and touch small uh, into a uh, tablet. Mm, uh, most of the things that I will uh, talk about uh, can be applied to uh, into a Pro S, M, and L uh, for sure. Um, Recently, I was asked to um, to cover some extra uh, extra um, settings um, in uh, this uh, Wacom tablet. I I have done the previous video uh, some time ago uh, where I show how I uh, do basic setup on of my tablet. Although I want to uh, readdress. Uh, this time uh, I want to uh, do this one more time with more in-depth of uh, of the settings uh, that was requested uh, if you not uh, interested in this tutorial in English I will drop down below um, time code uh, at the end of this uh, video I will do uh, just a bit that I was uh, asked for in Polish so if you're looking for a Polish explanation uh, look down the, uh, down below in the description box and there I will drop the time code right there so uh, let's begin uh, basically uh, what I like to do with my uh, Wacom tablet. Uh, I have to tell you that I reset the mapping on my tablet uh, before we started. So I will start at the beginning where you plugged in your uh, tablet and it starts to work, but the coverage of the of the um, workspace uh, of the tablet is whole whole uh, space of the tablet uh, on the tablet you have mark marks uh, on each corner of the workspace you have marks where uh, your workspace is uh, I don't know limited so if I if you you can see this if I uh, am going close to the marker I basically touching the marker and I'm almost almost in uh, upper left hand corner of my screen so if I go to right hand upper corner uh, you can see that my cursor is right about there and uh, the same thing goes to uh, right hand down corner lower corner and left hand, left hand side so how we how do we proceed so i'm uh, uh i'm i'm gonna use only only trackpads right now launchpad um 
What I like to do is to download the um, Wacom Desktop ten Center, uh, which I believe is um, recommended. So you you hit this, and this will keep your uh, drivers up to date. So mine is in Polish, so I will say that the general and your driver are uh, up to date. So I have uh, latest and greatest. Uh, drivers installed so let's go to Intuos PTS so pen and touch uh, small and you have uh, multiple uh, options right here and it doesn't really matter what you choose because these four uh, links are uh, you can uh, enter uh, them uh, from your uh, settings uh, on the tablet so I will do the pen so you you, you can see that uh, you have uh, touch uh, settings and you have touch settings and you have uh, pen settings and you have pen right here you have express keys and you have uh, on the tablet uh, you have express keys uh, to set it set it up and you have uh, a screen uh, keys uh, setting and you have uh, the same uh, tab right here so let's start with um, tablet um, right here we have uh, ability to set up the express keys that are located on our tablet so you don't have to uh, operate on your keyboard keyboard because if you uh, if you hit uh, some kind of express key on your uh, tablet it will act less like a shift or option uh, or uh, command and control uh, I have command and control separately set it up because I sometimes using these tablets for uh, my uh, my MacBook Pro and sometimes I, I'm using it with a uh, Windows machine so I have to separate the control and the command uh, on the on the express keys although I don't use that that often literally I have used this I don't know maybe maybe up to five times so uh, I'm used to um, use it uh, to the to the keyboard uh, shortcuts and and app specific um, combination of the of, of keys like uh, for Photoshop or Lightroom or, or uh, Illustrator. Uh, I'm not gonna deliberate on this one because I I think it's not that important. Uh, although with this tablet, I do believe that with um, Intuos Pro uh, a medium or or large it's more convenient because you have uh, your uh, wheel uh, round menu and you have uh, I believe seven or nine <coughs> express keys so it might be handy but for this tablet I, I'm using only only shortcuts on the keyboard um, for the pen uh, I'm, I have set it up uh, the erase button uh, but I don't use this uh, I prefer to uh, to operate on the uh, keyboard shortcuts with within uh, Photoshop, for example, and go uh, Command Z or Option Command Z to uh, toggle between um, uh, history uh, records. And <clears throat> although I do have a back button uh, set it up on my uh, double switch. Uh, which is uh, located on the on the tip uh, side of the pen, and uh, I uh, I'm using uh, upper uh, upper switch uh, to um, to do back button. So it's basically uh, Alt Command Z uh, in Photoshop programmed into this button and for the lower button I do have uh, right click so it's uh, 
it's only right click click and you can enter the here about clicks and right click right about here and if you do um, this uh, uh, for uh, for short shortcuts you have to uh, use um, keyboard and press of a key so you can uh, you can do uh, your keyboard shortcut uh, from here this is for the the pen itself and you have the eraser uh, pressure sensitivity and it's I will show you but it, it doesn't matter, matter uh, how strong you put this if you don't use this so I don't uh, pay attention to this and for um, tip pressure uh, sensitivity I'm one step towards uh, the hard one so uh, if you put your pen on the tablet and uh, press this in um, I believe uh, a normal pressure that I will use with my uh, with my pen to to draw on the paper uh, you uh, for me it's it's per personal preference but I, I think you can you, you should be able not to reach uh, half of this bar so it's it's subtle and if you need this to be uh, more uh, more responsive you you can adjust it later but for me this is this is the best solution because uh, if you are working within um, Photoshop let me switch to, to Photoshop and you you are using um, a brush uh, this is uh, this is quite interesting because uh, you not you're not always want to let me see with uh, this picture um, for example I will show you uh, with the brush so okay okay so if I'm switching to brush and uh, let me do this on a separate layer oh, sh okay let's put it up here and if you have the brush let's do this with some funny color okay so if you're changing your your brush size you you can see that if you're using a soft edge brush the 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 red area is the this is the area of the coverage this is the coverage of the brush so if i put maximum pressure this will be the the maximum area that the, that, that is covered with this brush so if i have this large brush and I will uh, use my mouse or trackpad and I click you can see that this is the, the, the outcome even though I haven't switched fully okay let's see with 100% opacity and flow this is the the full pressure of the of the mouse and full pressure of the uh, of the pen so it's gonna be like this so I'm only using a little bit of the pressure but if I press harder and harder eventually I will reach the maximum size of this brush but as you can see I can put some subtle smudges on this on this photo and you will not notice um, You will notice that it's uh, basically handy to to have this uh, this kind of freedom to use your pressure within this tablet. Yes. So this is uh, uh, this is basically uh, my my setting on this on this tablet. Uh, 
uh, on this pen uh, pressure sensitivity. No, this one. I need this one. Okay, so we have covered like this. Uh, I'm not touching the double click uh, setting because uh, it's not that common to to be used um, uh, within uh, a pen for me. I uh, I put the, my left hand on the on the computer itself and do the trackpad magic. So um, let's let's move on uh, to the next step that is mapping. And this is uh, this is one that was requested. Uh, I want to address one thing. I don't think it's needed to switch between right-handed or left-handed unless you have a um, high-end model with a tilt sensitivity built in in your uh, in your pan. Although I won't be able to to show you. Uh, when it's when it's done uh, in this um, uh, setting tab because I don't have this f function uh, within my tablet so let's do only the mapping if you download it, the latest uh, drivers you should have this mapping uh, tab uh, right here um, if you don't have it right here, uh, check the um, drivers and if necessary uninstall them and install them uh, once again it should pop up right here. If you have full screen mapping that means that your whole tablet uh, corresponded with your full uh, size screen. So for example if you have ability to draw, which I don't. Uh, you will need the whole uh, surface of the tablet to have your uh, natural stroke uh, space uh, to, to, to make some drawing so it's, it's more natural but if you want to operate your system and um, you want to operate uh, on your uh, Photoshop files as I, uh, as I do within uh, retouching uh, parameters so you want to narrow the um, part of your uh, tablet to small area on your tablet corresponding to whole screen of your computer so your movement uh, on the tablet so your you, you want to basically put your hand uh, in the resting position and draw only with your fingers without moving your whole hand across the mm, across the desk or, and, and the tablet. Do we want to go with the tablet? Uh, so mapping and now you can see that we will uh, operate on our tablet so you basically grab this and try to match the size of your screen uh, basically the uh, aspect ratio of your screen mm, and I will say something right here will be great because this is the place where my uh, my hand my palm of my hand will be resting and this is the place where I'm going to work with my pen okay and it will be mm, more than convenient we will hit OK and you can see that this part of your tablet it's the same as whole your, your whole screen so in this case um, something around three inches into one and a half inch uh, um, part of my uh, tablet will be the same as 15, uh, 15 inches uh, in diagonal of my screen so uh, I hope I can show you this um, I don't know if it's uh, if you can see this because uh, 
this the weird, weird um, angle. I bas basically I can uh, rest my my hand right here, and I can reach from uh, left hand down corner to upper right hand corner without moving my my hand from the tablet. So this is a, basically. Uh, the most convenient way to work with uh, with your Photoshop mm, Photoshop retouching. Uh, okay, so we will do uh, once again one more layer here and brush. And as you can see, I I'm doing something around one millimeter stroke on the tablet and you can see that this is something around one centimeter uh, stroke on the screen so it's a uh, um, very useful setting uh, to to this uh, this whole setup so mapping you need to find it in uh, your tablet welcome tablet setting uh, tab uh, you have tablet pen mapping and you can set this mapping to whatever you like okay so as I mentioned before now we will do the same thing in Polish uh, to cover only this uh, small portion of uh, of our tutorial uh, okay so tak jak mówiłem wcześniej jeżeli chodzi o mapowanie w, tab w zakładce ustawień tabletu Wacom a jeżeli mamy poprawnie zainstalowane sterowniki i jeżeli e, wszystkie ustawienia systemowe są, są zrobione poprawnie powinno to występować w tym miejscu gdzie mamy obsługę tabletu pióra mapowanie i opcje dotykowe a jeżeli tych zakładek tutaj nie ma jedyne co mi w tej chwili przychodzi do głowy to jest odinstalować e, sterowniki a i zainstalować je ponownie. Na Macu nie zdarzyło mi się ta, taka sytuacja, natomiast kiedyś na, na Windowsie rzeczywiście była taka sytuacja, że po zainstalowaniu sterowników nie wszystkie funkcje były dostępne. Wtedy, wtedy rzeczywiście odinstalowanie sterowników i zainstalowanie ich ponownie poprawiło całą sytuację. Po ponownym zainstalowaniu, jeżeli to mapowanie będzie, to ono będzie w tym miejscu i tak jak pokazywałem wcześniej w wersji angielskiej, możemy przejść do obszaru tabletu. Ważne jest, żeby nie, nie zmieniać obszaru ekranu, ponieważ określi nam to restrykcje co do obszaru ekranu, na którym możemy pracować z, z piórkiem, a nie o to nam chodzi. Natomiast ograniczamy obszar tabletu, żeby nam się wygodniej pracowało bez przesuwania całej ręki po całym biurku, szczególnie przy retuszu, tudzież przy jakichś mniejszych grafikach, logotypach i pracy na wektorach jest to przydatne, natomiast nie jest to funkcja, którą rekomenduję komuś, kto rysuje i mówię o, o, o rysunku w wersji cyfrowej, gdzie potrzebujemy właśnie tego adekwatnego przeniesienia, pociągnięcia pióra po tablecie. Ok, this is it for now. Um, hope you like this video. Uh, if you like it, please hit the thumbs up button. Uh, if you haven't already, please do click the subscribe button uh, somewhere right around here uh, it will mean a lot to me and will help you uh, help me a lot uh, to to grow with my channel this is it for now it was Bart and I will catch you in the next one bye